Hey, what's up everybody, Cynical Manor here, and uh, today we're going over some radar and uh, how to lock up air-to-air -air targets uh, with the Mirage 2000. So, I've got the plane in active pause, just to go over a few things with you here. You can see here on the left side, uh, we have our radar. We're going to go ahead and turn that to a mid so we can, because uh, we just took off. We're going to turn that to a mid so uh, our radar is active and you can see it going back and forth there. Um, go over a few things with you here. Uh, you can hit the switch here, that's your radar grid selector. And you can go into like a kind of a square, more modern jet look if you want to. I just leave it to the default because that's what I'm used to on this aircraft. Um, <clears throat> you have your uh, selector, scan selector here, like your 60, 30, and 15 degrees. Uh, you have your range. And you have your bar scan, 4, 2, and 1. And, um, there's other, I think it's this one. Oh, your memory selector, you can check that. Um, there is a ground targets here, you know, do a ground scan, things like that. I generally leave the radar as it is, uh, because you see with your, let me get where you can see it here. It starts out in 40 miles. If you take your TDC and you move it up, you get it, you know, it goes up 80 miles, or it goes down 20, 10, 10 bit the lowest or I've also got a um, my range selector set to a uh, turn dial on my throttle so I can just move 40, 80, 160, 320 um, and all that good stuff okay so sometimes the Mirage does throw up targets air targets that are really not there. It's, it's picking up ground clutter. Um, there's two ways to lock on the on the aircraft. And we'll go to symbols uh, and take a look at that. Uh, if we hit there's a STT TWS toggle switch um, and I've got that set up on the throttle. Uh, basically that's a soft target lock. Um, the target doesn't know it's being locked. Um, but you can lock it up for interrogation purposes or to be able to follow it. I can never get this thing to work. Um, I've seen other people on videos use it. For some reason, I can't get it to work. Um, we'll try it today, but I doubt it's going to work. It usually doesn't. But it's supposed to be you can lock them up. They don't know they're locked. Uh, and you can do what you got to do. Um, however, there's another one that I use all the time. It's called the TDC Depress Lock Target, uh, and I've got that set up on my um, flight stick. Um, but that's a hard lock. They'll know you're locked them up. Um, but you know, that's the way I get locks with weapons. Uh, so you can try both of those. You might be able to get the other one to work on your system. Uh, for some reason, I can't get mine to work. Uh, even against like real players, I've online, I've not been able to to, to get it to work. But um, that's the way you can do it. There's two different ways, too, when you lock up a target to get uh, identification. So you've got your IFF switch right here. And it's, we didn't turn it on, so we'll turn it on. And it's uh, straight up and down. Um, so just say, like, uh, I don't know. Say this where a cursor's over a target. We will hit the nose wheel steering button. You see a little dotted line here when it, that ident ident will identify that one aircraft. If you have multiple aircraft, so you're playing online or whatnot, you can turn that IFF switch all the way to, to the right and you can hit your identification switch and it does everything in the radar. So it will identify everything. So when you have an aircraft that's friendly, like this, if this was the aircraft here, we can go down and say, let's see, well, 
they're disappearing. It's just ground clutter. It's picking up, but it'll have like a little diamond here at the bottom uh, of the aircraft if it's friendly. If it doesn't have any diamond once you identify it, um, it is an enemy. So I usually leave it up in straight up and down position because I do one aircraft at a time. Uh, but it's up to you how you want to do it. Um, so. Alright, so we've got some, some drone planes uh, set up. And uh, we'll go after them. We'll go ahead and arm everything up. Turn our gun on. Turn our master arm on. Go ahead and select the Super 530s. Take it out of pause. And we'll, we'll see what we can find out here. So the Super 530s I think are good for about, uh, I'm going to say you can fire from 30 miles, because they're, they're a uh, Fox 1, but generally I can't lock anything up or get a tone for about 10 to 15 miles. But I guess if you had enough altitude and you are coming down on the target, you'd probably get that one. Alright, so we got some targets over here, just going to turn into them. And lock them up. That's a hard lock, by the way. And it gives you an indication on your hood where they're at. So we'll go ahead and identify them. And nothing came back. So they are enemy. So technically on the, the Super 530s, we've got two gauges here. One smaller gauge, which is usually higher, uh, is supposed to be like a in range notification, and then the, the next little bar shows you that you definitely have a firing submission. We're gonna burn a little bit here, try to get to target, and for some reason, this likes to deselect stuff. like we missed 
pistol in the first one. We did hit on that one. And he's going down. Track around to these other guys. And we'll go to guns. So the way the, the guns work is you've got a lead. We'll try to lock him up real quick. Make it lock. Sometimes this thing doesn't work. Anyway. I don't know. It's, I'm having issues with this thing today, but <clears throat> sometimes it doesn't lock. And I'll be honest, I've been play, flying the Viggen a lot lately. I've been doing a lot of Cold War stuff, so I've flown the Mirage a little bit. But, it should lock up. See, I'm not even seeing the aircraft on radar, which I should be. But anyway, we'll go in. If you get a lock, you'll have a little shooting cue that comes up. There it goes. If you put that little cue, and these 30 millimeter cannons are also. Try to take out the engines. There we go. Getting a little slow there. out of ammo. See, the ammo goes really quick in the Mirage. Really quick. But hopefully that kind of showed you something there. Uh, I'm sorry that I was having radar issues. Um, the Mirage is... It's got a good radar system, but you just have to play with it a little bit and figure it out because it, it does have some quirks to it. Um, this yellow thing here is that first plane we had locked up. It's still showing, trying to show you like, hey, this is the memory for it can change the memory settings over here. Uh, it's right here. See, it's still showing that there's a plane out there. And if we return to it, it loses it. So it's kind of I don't I don't understand that aspect of it. But I did want to go over to show you how to lock up air to air targets. So hopefully that was somewhat helpful to you. I'm sorry I'm not the best at that when it comes to this aircraft. Um, but it gives you a little bit of understanding on how to do it. Um, so uh, remember to like and subscribe and uh, send me some comments on what you want to see next. Uh, I don't know of a whole lot left to show on the Mirage. We've kind of basically going over everything so far uh, landing I know we haven't really gone over we can do that but uh, other than that I don't really know what else you'd like to see uh, someone did request um, to see the um, laser guided bombs uh, used on on the aircraft I'm sorry but I don't have a way to uh, fly with somebody to to use that to show it um, because you have to have someone lacing the target um, but you know if I could I would definitely unless one of you guys want to volunteer to help me out so go ahead and see if we can drop that center line tank and there it goes so <clears throat> hopefully you um, like that and sorry it wasn't a little better um, for some reason the I don't know if it's Syria, given the problems like all the other maps, sometimes I don't have this issue with it, 
Um, but I don't know. The, the radar is acting wonky today. Usually it acts a lot better than that. I was just having some problems locking up things. I don't know why. But we'll see you next time, and you guys have a great day.